Nasema pole sana. Atunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa uwezo na nguvu ambazo ametupatia ambayo tumeweza kufika tukiwa wazima.
tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutufikisha hapa nyumbani. Tunashukuru kwa safari njema ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu ameweza kuondoa ndugu zetu kutoka Eldoret. Wamefika salama, tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Ili tuweze kupokea mwili wa ndugu wetu uh, Eric Rotich. Tunaomba sisi wote tuweze tukapamba pale waombolezaji wote tunawakaribisha na tunaomba tuweze tukasimama pale alafu tuta kuwa na wimbo tunapomleta mwenda zake hapa nyumbani. Kwa hivyo mwelekezi upande ile tunaomba tafadhali utueleze kama mko tayari alafu tutaimba. Sisi wengine tutaketi hapa. Tutaketi hapa kidogo. Pengine familia na wandugu watakuwa pale alafu tutakuja pamoja uh, alafu tutapata mwelekeo kuanzia pale mwelekezo tafadhali unipatie kama iko sawa hata na wandugu wachache nitaomba waweze kufika hapa ili tutaweza kuimba wimbo mbare ya 48 kwa nyimbo zetu za challenge ili tuweza kupoke mwili hapa nyumbu Kwa hivyo sasa tunaelekea kutoa mwili na tutakuja mwende wa pole pole hadi hapa. Kwa hivyo imba wimbo zetu za challenge nambari 48 mwili unapokuja ama unapofika hapa nyumbani. Kienda na kicheni kwa namba 48 ni mwangu nene ni etinde nyun ndio yuwa. Kete ni tena wote thank you bagenge. Yegi pole awegaru kimwago ngoi enjo ba amungo abondo yech abondo chita ektugun kotoka baika engalie kisome ke muiten age beki chuo ba ngongo bera amune gimnotis ne go go ba che family embe tu je chita dugun chi go ba u window kimwago ngoi enji tugun amune paishet nemye ne go ge ger embe tu barain kitnye galie tamune enji hobo Amune ne dene go ne gim na tet ende tu ta get tugul Ma wa se kuche dani u pandei sa padale mo pito pandei mo gino wa hema dio karibuni mo pito pandei o mo gino sawa karibuni Yes Ah sima ma ko ala ko sa kuja pamoje mo sima ma ko ala sa kuja pamoje Tiada tiada nak balik politik. Ya tiada nyun indoi wang. Yes, I 
na kila mmoja atakabidhi mkononi mwako kila tendeka kwa Asante sana. Ah, nitaomba tuweze ku pata viewing kwa wale ambao wako na nguvu. Tutaanza kupata viewing na baada ya viewing tutaenda kwa chakula. Kwa hivyo nitaomba wale ambao wako na nguvu Biki mucho gogel, ke macho gogel, porto. Agi tegi much ke betaban, ki uneut, agi nam ke mich. Na se me famba tutaweza kupata kuona mwili. Ah, uh, okay, na lekeza famba pengine hiyo itakuwa baadaye. Ah, uh, kwa hivyo kwa sasa hivi tutaweza kuenda kwa ajili ya chakula, tuende kwa line, alafu tupate chakula na tuanze program kwa dakika ambazo zinafuata. Antoelekeza washrooms za wanaume ziko pande ile ladies to the far left behind the tent ladies pia kuna semo pale eh, washrooms pia pale wanaume wataelekea mkono wa right far end on the other side kwa hiyo tunasema karibu karibu sana full gear ya ndugu yetu amekuja nazo amekuwa ni kiongozi tunasema asante sana kwa ndugu zetu ambao wamekuja pamoja kumsindikiza ndugu wetu. Poleni sana na karibuni. Kisome kwa ikugun, kwa line yun, asubi kenyorun amitwa. kwa safari ambazo mmeweza kufika kwa usalama na mwili yako. So ninaomba tu the nuclear family ningetaidiwa na wamama wadogo kidogo walishe kama ale. Yeye bwana wili tale of law. That is what I wanted to simalanga line. So kwa sababu ya hali yanga tafadhali tulikuwa tumeomba kula kwa sababu tulikuwa tumeanza police security. So ga age sa. Mzee nataka niombe wana ambao mmetoleta kuendea mwili pamoja na familia tafadhali tuampe twende line kuchukua chakula. Ewe litaketi odlo, labda na mama wanaweza kuketi watashughulikiwa kiasi. Yes. 
Lakini wengine wote tuamkeni tafadhali tupange laini tukule chakula ili tuweze kusoma ali anga. Oi goshine. Nimesema gone gingiten hakuna mtu kingine atakula mpaka watu wa Eldoret wakule. Wale ambao walitoka na mwili ya Eldoret pamoja na familia wapange laini kukula chakula. Tafadhali Kwa mgeni ngeni sisi nimesema chakula imekuwa tayari sisi ndio tunaenda kufunga laini na tutalete jam nimesema kama umetoka Nairobi mmelete mwili tafadhali amkini lakini nuclear family mwili ta usiamke pamoja na watoto wako na mama na e, e, wale wengine inge mama dino na wale wengine wanaitaji kulisha hiyo family tafadhali wale immediate family msiamke lakini wengine tuendeni tupange laini mkono ni pale na ushike chakula na ukiti tafadhali Wafadhali laini na yende mbio na watu wa hapa mtubiri kwanza Mtubiri kwanza Wafadhali wametuka ilurit mkule Tukiona wameishiba na wametoka Kuzi wa kahadi wa hapa mtubiamuka Mkahadi wa hapa kuziamuke Wate tuusiliane jutuende kwa hiyo ratiba Kwa haraka sana Alafu nimesema mamandere na wadu wengine Muntaidee kulishia mimi watote ya maregemu Kwa hile hema na ile hema ile kumbe ile pale ndio ya familia na wale wametoka Eldoret alafu tukija tunaenda hivi ya Nairobi mkaaji wa hapa tu ukiona mkuna mgeni amesimama ana kiti simama hiyo ndio rati ya sisi tafadhali kwa so, watu wengine wasiketi kwa ile hema ile hema ni ae, wale wamezindisha mbili pamoja na familia kutoka Eldoret tafadhali na wale wafanye kazi pamoja na sasa hivi una safu chakula safu chakula ndio 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 tuweze kutoa jam tafadhali na kama umekuja ukua ni wa area hii na umeona laini iko kafiria usiingie hiyo kafiria kwanza wacha wageni kwanza wakule walisafiri jana Eldoret wamechoka wame wapo na uchovu mwingi wacha wakule kwanza sisi wengine tutakula baadaye na tutakula akampeni shemejiano na mama bibi ya Emmanuel kwa kulisha na mwalimu kulilishia wale familia na pia uwapelekee maji maji huko mingi kwa ya chupa so familia Unapo shika cha chakula shika na pamoja na maji tafadhali asanteni sana. Kongwe security man na bado nataka nitangaze wewe ni mgeni umetoka Eldoret chunga kibeti chako na uchumbe simu. Chunga simu sijasema hapa ni mbaya ni mzuri. Lakini taa zingine watu wanasema nimepoteza simu, nimepoteza kibeti bla bla bla. Nataki iapen kwa hii mazishi. Na tuko na security nzuri sana. Na pia kama umekuja kwa nia nyingine tuko na security tight mkono ya serikali ni mrefu usikuje na mkono yako yako itakuwa fupi my friend so asanteni sana karibu ni kwa hii familia mjifikie mko nyumbani asanteni kwa kusafiri kutoka Eldoret mmesindikisha mwili ambao mwitu vizuri sana hata imezindikisha na baraka ya mvua nimesikia kabziriti linyesha mzuri sana asanteni sana so kongwe kabla hata kuti imenyesha vizuri kumaanisha ndugu yetu amesafiri vizuri so thank you very much kongwe Yes, chakula ikuwe sasa haraka haraka ndio itoe jam kwa laini please. Wakaaje wa hapa tu relax. Hata ukifika mlango na unaona laini, ukakuja kwa hema tu kuja relax kidogo. Tutakula. Wacha wageni kwanza wakule. Hiyo ndio ratiba ambayo tuko nayo sasa hivi. Pia ninaamini kasiti na uh, kasiti wa hapa na wa Eldoret na wale wengine wameenda kushughulikiwa kwa nyumba. Ndio saini wa mtakapo maliza pia takuwa na ratiba ambaye inaenda vizuri. Asanteni sana. Pale tu ema ni ya familia na maka, na makasisi ambaye watahusika kuweza kuzindikisha marehemu. Ndio weka wimbo slow kidogo hivi. Asanteni sana. Na Mungu awabariki. Ongea okay, mishana kwa kweli. Twende tu faster, 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 faster. Faster, faster. Asanteni watu wa Nandi kwa kufika. Kongwe hapa. Watu wa Ndoret, kongwe wa Mungara wa Bwana. Asanteni sana. Umefanya vizuri. Pastor Manel, thank you very much. Kwa kufika. Thank you very much kongwe. Yes. Namna hiyo twendeni tu. Eh tutaka hali eh, anga ni nzuri sana. Hali anga ni nzuri. Nimesema ukiwa na sita uliza mtu wenye amevaa kitu naitwa Asha. Enye hapo na lepo. Kwa sababu mimi ni wewe mimi tuko na watu wengi ambao wako na lepo. Uliza nimepoteza hii alafu uta tutaitwa. Na pia kama umeokota chochote, pea security ama pea Asha alafu itatangazwa mwenyewe eni hapo. Asanteni sana. Mjifikie mko nyumbani. Hapa ni mzuri, kwetu ni mzuri, na mvua ni mzuri na ni nje ya baraka. Asanteni sana. Kongoi.
Watu wengine wote lazima tupange rati pa laini tukuchukue chakula. Oge banga laini. Kama umetoka mahali endure tu wapi 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 tupange laini tukule tafadhali. Nimesema tu tusinishughulikiwe mama na watoto wa Omarhem. And that is where we are. Kongo ni singa tanteni sana. Alafu kama kuna mama mzee unaweza kushughulikia tu sawa. Lakini hata kuchukulikia watu wote itakuwa ni watu wote na tutaarebu ratu za tunataka kila mtu akienda nyumbani aende kama amekula na at least ameshima ije uweka wimbo inoa wimbo juu kidogo bado nataka nitangaze nyumba ya kusali ama choo ndio watu waelewe hapa nyumbani kuna choo ya familia hapa wewe familia inatumia tumewawekea akina mama miaro nyumba hii itakula hapa kiona ya mwingine wewe wa mama anaenda enda hapa hapa sana nataka nitume pole ya kina mama iko hapa hii nyumba hii mahali tunataka chakula hii inakuwa ya, ya familia Alafu wanaume na nimealikuwa pia kutoa ya wamama pale nyuma ya hii ya familia ile lakini ile ya mobile ile toilet ya mobile Nataka nisemwe kama unjui kutumia toilet ya mobile tafadhali usiinde Usiinde Na wanaume mobile ndipo pale nyingine Alafu wanaume wengine tunaweza kuchoa pande hii kuna choo hapa unaona mahali tumefungua hii hapa ipo hii mahali kuna choo hapa Unaingia tu kwa hii mahali kuna choo kwa hii miti hii hii ya wanaume mniangalie mbona hii ya wanaume wa mama wanaenda nyuma ya hii alafu wanaume wengine kama hujui kutumia ile mobile eh eh ama wewe ingine nyuma ya barabara ukiangalia mahali magari zimekuwa pasi kuna choo na imekuwa ime, imehifadhiwa kwa sababu ya wanaume kuna choo pale alafu ya wanaume wengine iko pale ya wamama iko pale atadeni sana
Yes. Na unapokuja ukimalizia chakula kama uko ndani ya hema katikati, tena mtu mwenye hapo kwenye kuweka kwa mbele kuna watu wanakukuta wakiokota taani. Yule ni mshie ndani. Kile ni sana ni taa ile 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 ile
Yes. Sikap ibu berada di anak isi. Ya, jual lambang menaiki saya dan melangkau tanggal lain ini pula tak pula. Tak pula. Ya. Lalu diri mana diri sama orang diri sama orang yang mana tak pula. Itu diri yang pula yang mana tak pula. Itu yang ada yang tak pula. Mereka mahu kembali tak pula. Mereka tak ambil bela karema. Cuma nak tak ambil bela lagu punya kita nak. ตอนนี้เลยครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้ครับตอนนี้
na ndugu zake na dada yake wakae kwa ile hema that is what you do with the money ndugu zake ni tafanyia ni tafanyia ni tafanyia so stanley na mama anta mo kwa mali akaribu kwa huko kutaribu atantee ni sana yes atantee ni sana karibu ni sana viongozi wana kutoka mbali mbali na mene watu wana kutia watu wana kutia
wazazi wote marafiki jamii wa ndugu wote ambao wamejaliwa kufika hapa kwa siku ya leo tunawakaribisha kwa siku hii siku hii ambayo tunaomboleza kutoka kwake kwa ndugu wetu uh, Eric Kotich na tunasema poleni sana tunawakaribisha nyinyi wote kwa moyo mkujuku moyo ambao tunasema pole kwa kuona hewa kwa ndugu wetu hakika yetu tuna anza sasa hivi na wale tumetelewa lakini tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa program ambayo tuko nayo. Sasa tutaelekea tuweze kupokea nyimbo mbili kutoka kwa Mr. Nakae Tito Gay ambao tutamsifu na Mwenyezi Mungu kwa program ambayo tuko nayo. Tunasema asante sana kwa kila mmoja ambao amejaliwa kufika hapa. Tunasema asante sana kwa wageni ambao baada ya kujaliwa kufika tunasema asante sana kwa wale wote ambao wamekuwa kwa maombi tangu shida hii ilipotokea tunasema asante kwa wale ambao wameshikilia familia hii kwa wakati ule wote ambao ndugu yetu alikuwa akiugua kwa familia tunasema poleni sana asante kwa Mwenyezi Mungu kwa uwezo ambao amewapatia asante kwa baraka ambao Mwenyezi Mungu amepatia ndugu yetu tunaomba Mwenyezi Mungu siku hii ile siku ambayo tutaigeuza ile siku ya kushifu na kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kazi ambayo amefanya kwa familia ya Arabia. Tunasema poleni sana na karibuni. Kwa hivyo kwa sasa hivi tunaenda kupokea nyimbo mbili kutoka kanisa la AIC Bureau kwao. Karibuni. tutaomba tuweze kuona mwili kwa wana ambao wako na uwezo wa kuona kwaya wanapoimba nyimbo mbili tutaomba wana ambao wako na nguvu na wanapata ku wanapenda kuona mwili wa ndugu wetu waweze kuja kuona mwili tukichetu kifaa mwingine endele tikiki basi au wote tamuni kugeri tukenyo endele robuto kwa mwili kwa kwa Abogie, guru yangu, sisi tafsa kwa ya, sisi yangu, sisi yangu yele, sisi tafsa si, sisi yangu yele, sisi yangu sisi tafsa, mpoza, mpoza kwa ya, kwa guru, sisi kwa ya, mama mukuja kwa mene, sisi niko, sisi zako, sisi ni chini, kumi ni hali ya tafsa ni na mama kwa ya, kumi ni na, kwa ya mata, kumi ni mukose. Kwa pigi makofi kama huko na uwezo wa kupiga makofi tunaomba uwezo wa kupita hapa kutoka kama ya kwa shangilia kwa sababu hii ni karamu ya dunia ya ndugu
bado tunaelekea kuwa na mwili kwa haya wanapo zidi kwa siku Mwenyezi Mungu kwa nyimbo ambazo watu
wewe kwa mtu family wanapo kuja na uweze kuwapokea kwa jeni family kama huko na uwezo mtaweza fanya juu na na itakayofuata ni family introduction karibu wana Yesu asifiwe Yesu asifiwe hali mbote mko hilo tunote hizo wana asifiwe wana mshukuru pasi kitoko mshukuru Jehova kwa sababu amekuwa ni mwema kwa kila mtu na wetu tangia alipotupatia uhai wa siku ya leo Kwa
Hawa wazazi wa hawako na tishiba nisha tangulia Hawa wazazi wa mbao 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 hapa ni watoto wao Na mama moja mbae mepasi Huyo ni mama wa eri Huyo ni moja mbae amepasi So, kwa James Lane, papa wetu mkubwa Kijana wate mkubwa ndio huyu, Joel Na Jamuru, mkwe wate Mkawe vile kulikuja dunia hii Vile kulikuja Haya, hivyo nila yoni Mdada wetu Wamoja na wadomba wake Wale mkaitini Uyo ni Steve Mchirino Wamoja na wamuru Mke wake na wadomba wake Mchida na hapa
ambapo nafsi katika nyumba hiyo ndio kubwa ni jeuri Ongo 
Sumama ni muona Teku ni kuona jiziri Sawa sawa Gongoy 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 Wala ambao wata Allah Kuna mungine pada Gongoy 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 Thank you. 
wali kitabu enyewe ulicharibu kukombesha watoto and as you know kitu wa kisi mtu wa kienda kitu tunangalia aliacha watoto wangapi na wanafali na nini hiyo kikiria yetu yani kikiria yetu but when I went through this you know nimefurahia kuona watoto wamesoma vizuri wamesoma vizuri kule nzuri mpaka hata mimi nikashangaa nikasema Mungu afanye nini hapa nikiwe sasa ndio mimi nataka bali ni kwa ndara kama ile hapo tambe na ile mwana kwa hapo tambe tumbone tu na mwana wote nimeongea vizuri asante kwa majina kwa majina naitwa Michael kwa sababu yule mmeniona hivi tena ni mbona na jina kingine sio kadogo sana lakini kako anaitwa Chief 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 ni mbaya hapo ni vizuri asante Familia kutoka Mdala Ulingi Bundu Mama Hii wa Mdala Ulingi Bundu Ishio Ninyo Na mkiangalia kwa Rantipa Ndona Mami tuko kwa familia Family introduction Maungwezi ni hapo Baada ya neno la mungu Ishio kwa hivyo mkipewa nafasi tafadhali msiongee msiongee tafadhali ili tusijaribu program ya ya MC msiongee kwa sababu wakati ni kidogo na watu ambao wataongea baada ya wengi ili tupige
Prichnie kumarz, nie chcę się wyjść, bo 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 nie chcę Ani na tym mamu, ma w tym chwili na rzęsku. Proszę brada, że ubejna bi, grosie bi, uesli bi, lecz, że rujoć, że kreć, że pili pergis, on tej listy. Tak brada, że lecz, że lecz, że beka dina, ale stara, gea, że andrej. Brada, i grosie, że dina bi, kreć, uesli kreć, lecz, że pergis, i dia bi, sa i grosie, Stanley and Ali Trano, the uncle to Chris Rock, the bitch, Lydia and Marley and Marcy Lynch, Lynch, Levy, Lacey, Clayton, Angel, Darwin, Lacey, and many others. His education. The Lynch, Eric, is now already a general ECB, Bourget, and Dwayne Bourgeois, and Lignette, Primary School. Let us say in Lambia, for his secondary education. This is what Say you want the last very good mineral resource in the following institution. Soil height and strength in Rangai, Waters Mozilla Club of Home of the Monica, Waters Marketing Insurance Company of Guru, Waters Kenya Airport Authority, AKA, Dutch Turkey Airport and Liberty International Airports. Next question like, Eric Mineral was good sharing and name of Craig Kibberke, and Guru is your software. Eighty by name, Lorit and eighty number. If Mario is like, hey, you know, got to one brother's home in nineteen ninety eight in ten one and you left with four children, they got the best, then that's in sight, I let the career, I don't even die. If I have, so that's me, that's me, he does the intent to think we do some of our things to complain. The same problem of the same change to the same of you. Which may be stated, several colonial CPS should be done. And later, PG can, which reveal a foreign mark. Very annoying surgery again, we should reveal that the cancer has spread to the agent only. Wound management followed thereafter. We started vomiting early December. The problem persisted since his death on January 5th at 8 a.m. Next question. I have no first friend. How about my day? How about my children? I can't come, I don't come, to my confidence. I'm sad, because you never did that in my head. I miss you. I've known you for the past like five years. Right up and down, but I've been faithful in our family. We work together to give our children the best. But unfortunately, you left me on the way. As we share the life, we live together. Together it is been for me to be in pain for the past few years.
Zeit, als du und ich jetzt zu die Hand fliegen, als sie wollen, dann das. Er geht die Kram, er geht die Göttin mit dem Sturm. Sie haben den Appell der Zeit,
and stay out of the black one. And we don't feel that for next one. Okay, on, this, on behalf of mom, Mama Eric, what are you doing? We have watched you grow from a humble, forbidden, and a poor, to a full grown man. You have touched us and transformed life. Since it is the will of God to take you to Him at this time, I totally and completely surrender to His will. Call in peace in your hand. You love the God so much. We all know you as a very private person and loving man whose wise faith guided your actions, words, and deeds. You stop always to be the best, your good brother and your son. Bless in peace. Amen. We were impressed by one day. It was a very good drawing of the lion that was just drawn by his backside. We have lost a lion, we have lost a kid. We have lost a kid. We have lost a kid.
Treasure leave me less I pray. Precious is the death of the one who believes in the Lord and precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his son. Najua kwamba ndugu yetu alikuwa anamwamini Mwenyezi Mungu na tuna hofu. Ngawaje tuna uzuni kwa kuondoka kwake lakini tunajua kwamba yeye alimwamini Yesu Kristo na yeye yuko kwa Yesu Kristo. Tunasema poleni sana. Kwa muda ambao tuko nayo tunaenda sehemu ya maongezi na tunataka tuwapatie watu wachache ukipata fursa tafadhali usiseme kitu jambo la kuwapatia faraja familia ili tuweze kuokoa maisha bwana chirilo karibu uweze kuwapokea watu kutoka kwa family waweze kuongea yenye la nasi tafadhali ongezaru saa hii amun meter of time au program of time cha Saya juga belum lelo. Kita akan jago nu. Kita ada mikrofon kita hantar lemba. Bukan sekitar mana. Bukan lagi perawi ni. Perawi kita itu cuma kunci. Alun alun kita ada yang berdiri tadi tu kunci kembali. Tapi ni, bukan tapi berdiri.
kwa mambo ya kemu kusoma baadaye tena ikakuwa successful lakini after na foreman fireman ikamwataka ambaye ilifika tumbo na ikafunga na akaanza kutabika like school so daktari waliamua kama tena wafanye eh, upatwaji ya pili na wakapata ya kwamba eh aiweke kanga so wakatueleza ya kwamba matibabu inatakuwa kwa sasa ni kumtunga tu eh fika mwisho na shukuru Mungu kwa wakati ambao amekubali kwa eh kuna wakati alika kuita nyumbani kwake huko Elore kama familia ya hapa nyumbani kama mambo itakuwa mbaya sana ninajua ya kwamba ndio 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 kunipeleke nyumbani wakati mambo itaridhika kunipeleke ndio basi ndio sasa tukwa mahali hapa. Ili mambo ya Erika alikuwa ameiona kwa mbali na Mungu pia alikuwa amemuonyesha. Nilienda kuchunga Erika after Christmas like one week na nilikuwa eh kwa like six days usiku peke yake. Na tulikuwa tukiongea na yeye kinieleza mambo yake na kuendelea. Na ni ngumu alikuwa najaribu kunibatia lakini nilikuwa naweza hakuna uh, mali mwenye. Sijaribu kile kile jambo lolote tuweze kupata dawa. Akaniambia kweli eh, ndugu yangu unaona kama hii mwili tarudi. Mweleze tarudi. Ilifika mahali tulikuwa tunachunga na ndugu wetu ambaye ni dasu Hiyo 
tengo Erika no hacha ningún Aquí me está ganando. Cuatro cabceres. Atante. Me estoy chungia Erika. Canita la moto en borra. Me chunga Erika. Maisha Erika le abaya lishi kupande ama inja nubani. Ni mingi kulipo ya lishi ya. Erika lishi kupande huu. Like 23 years, na upande hili alishi like 29 years. So, watu wa Eloret, watu wa Airport, JKIA, Eloret Airport, na upande ya Turkana. Unajua Eric sana kulipa ata siti. Because most of the time, Eric hapo na nini. Tulipa tukikitano na Eric, kama kuna shere, hapa tukitembelea. Tushikane pamoja na tutaweza. Kependa kushukuru wafanyikazi wa Kenya ya Pondoriti. Asante. Asante. Wakubwa wote. Umetushikilia. Atunga ya tatuketu. Majirani ya asante ni sana. Kanisa, thank you very much. Na skiri ni asante kwa kila mtu. Hiu mzigo ni atunga ya tatuketu. Charles Kutoko Kambianga Wakati Jansa Makuja Wakati Jansa Makuja Waja Niseme Machache Waja Niseme Natuwa Shukulane Kwa Kwa Ndugu Zake Eric Kwa Kasi Kubwa Mbao Walifanya kumchunga yu uyu shuja mwere jingo mwere wa chuhuwa kwa hivyo 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 Jadi nggak asyik nengi kau yang cipu anda pura. Papa juga nengi guru, kau yang cipu nggak asyik nunggu nanti tu. Kau mulai cakap kau bangga ciri, kau perhati dengan no kue. No ker, tapi cai ni anda jauh. Kau ibu nampak lagi, kau nengi beli beli. Kutang kaki lenci, kaki lenen, wajib ini. Kau bukan aku kinta, aku para kaki lenci. Kau nama benar, kau 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 nama ciri. Kau tak hidup aku, anak aku kau nuju. Tapi kau tak baca tu nama, kau baca aku sama, kau tak berkiri. Anak aku nak apa? Si Yu kau mau nama, hero guna anu, mau berkiri. Obrolan kalian muka itu aman. Mereka akan jalan di mana umur yang kira namun gua kubariki. Kalau mereka gua kahwin atau cerai, kami lihat tu si dari dia family. From today, kami lihat change and a visitation of peace in that family. Makmum cik ibu kita mama ni, mama ni guna kan, nanti bumi ibu aku yang get. Mau tu ibu aku yang stress. Waktu kau ni ngalah cemian, we shall sort it out. 
Aurudi hai started. Nilikuwa nimeanza. Ugi ndo mnyam Eric nikatukafuna break kidogo. But now that he is left us uh, God willing kwa mapenzi ya Mungu tutaanza. Ama jeje tuje. Agi tuje. Kaje ni kaya Johanna. Agi ngiri bichi mbao kabia. We combine the union. We sort it out as a family. Agi tuje kwa yo kwa nyo. Ngi busita kuingi tuje si. Eri mukiona kwa picha mahali ambapo tumeandika Victoria mfungo hapo mahali ambapo tumeandika Victoria picha namba picha namba 3 1 2 3 mahali anaongea na, na babake ule hapo mahali anaongea na babake ule baba anampatia mashauri kali sana Aura ni wazi mlokto. Aku ngeri ngeri ngeri. Hile huyo ngeri ngeri baba yetu. Alifanya kumisha uli watoto wake. Sisi zote. Ni vile vile Eric amefanya kumisha uli watoto wake. Na kupatia kazi. Eh 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 God is going to stand here and imagine if you do that as he has been going on going on to rock you over. Hai mambo 
siku ya tunazaliwa mleka hapa atikiwi baada ambapo tulitoka mleka hapa tangitayarisha na kutunaenda baada ya mwenyezi mungu tengenezo ya maana unako kuwa katika hii dunia kuna ratumani moja tupekea na wadonsu kapati ya watu wako wahenga wa samani wa sema kwa mba you cannot invest for the children I think you cannot invest for the children but the benefit that will grow from the children is that so in short if you invest in the children
Pole sana kwa dadangu Clara, pole sana mtoto wako. Tunajua sio rahisi hata kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu, kama binadamu tunaona usito. Lakini tukitegemea Mwenyezi Mungu kila jambo itakuwa rahisi. Kwa hivyo uh, mama Leila leo tuko wengi hivi unajisikia ukiwa na watu wengi. Lakini baada ya hii shughuli ya leo kila mtu ataenda shughuli zake na utajipata ukiwa uko lonely. Kaa na Mungu, shikilia uh, mambo ya Mungu ndio kanisa ikusaidie usivili ile 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 um, ile fatu mume wako ameanza ah kitu ya pili naweza sema mama Leila ah tukisema pole kila wakati pole tutatembelea wewe vile tunaweza lakini majirani yako wale wako karibu na wewe na kanisa ndio watakusaidia kwa sababu hatutakupatia kile mume wako alikuwa anakupatia leo bendo ulikuwa nayo hatutaweza hata tukijaribu lakini tegemea Mwenyezi Mungu ndio mambo yote itakuwa mzuri Mungu awapariki na umfarijiwe asante Afande sana Rona Rona ati ati Ah asante asante sana Amaji kiwe na vazi mama Ah kwenye wamwana walio kidogo mbili
Asante sana mama, tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa uwezo ambao amekupa. Asante kwa kukuombea na hata kuona ndugu wetu hadi dakika ya mwisho. Tunasema asante sana. Tunaendelea na sehemu ya kuongea na tunaomba mwakilishi mmoja kutoka kwa family ya Sunday Rono aweze kufika hapa anze kuona zake. Mmoja tafadhali. Ya, yeah, karibu. Niaba ya Sanik eh uh, sandani eh uh, kutoka sehemu za sandani kwa peti aweze kuwa tayari alafu atatoa pole za Bwana asifiwe uru wa Yesu ulita alogo karkaboge mocha bwana pole ne buno frang igen of kila rizono of mama embonta kiga tage ngala ulita kogigile magarara mboge sabo ongeta awigite tage awo pitune giginala kogigile magarara so he did that time, sir. I just want to tell this uh, Umati wa people. Who later, Alifanya Kanti and Bayan in Afanya, UK. Ile una chunga mtuwa mbae. Daktari ya mewambiwa uko kwa your last minute. Hogan was a brave man. He planned his head. And that is what is so hard for us to plan as people and buy to go alive. He was such a brave man because he knew he saved his life. Take time, more make it, who may scare me, and then there is. Ulichunga, and I forget where you know I'm excited. Now you're your sister. So, receive our condolences from my family and from Mama and Bolta. Mama and Bolta. Did you long a couple of men? When you talk to you, and through a Puguri and Lil, the pen of Sema Pole, you said the Pole was the son who will later now was the Toyaki. What was the I for ye? Brother, yeah, my brother in law. Like, eh, like in a jungle. And we learned a woman when he was in hospital. And to me, he was a fiat, he was going to go by a sana. But as a medical person, Nika, in fact, what I told him, he told me that he was a man who was a man. Because what I saw, I just knew he was a man for a very short time. So, what I was going to tell you, Willita, he was a man who was a man who was a man of psychology, and I understood the way you were strong, I knew you were a man who was a man who was a man. Unaweza kupitia hiyo yote. So yenye mepasi sahi, 
Najua ya ya dunia sasa hiyo imepita. What are you waiting for you now? Ni hao watoto. They are looking up to you. Nasema tu I know utaweza. Poleni. Um kwa kuongeze nataka tu nilete dhambi rambi kutoka kwa wazazi wetu kutoka Londiani. Poleni sana. Na wate ลอสนาเดซาลอสนาซาลาเลอเลโยเลตาปอลปาเดซาปอลเลปอลเลบาเดมิญองกาเปตปอลเลกิเกซามามูดายเอวเลตาโอลิงกิมิอะอะลอเ
Rafiki endelee shikani shikani Rafiki endelee shikani Kile kitu kwa shikani endelee Si bado sikia maneno umumu Mina kata mungu Mita mkozi yangu Tenda wazi yako Tenda wazi yako Kile unapen, pen Pen Wazi ya kafire kasande Nijona upepe jana Hata siyo jana, tangu Para Mui siyo uli Kukia wabie, kukia wabie nuhu pingie la wabu Sika kafire Kadia Kukia wabie loka hapa Kabele, kukia wabie loka hapa Kabele Kukia wabie loka hapa 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 Na alipita, basi tekila sona Aliyata mtuli sana Hata akiwa Akiyata kina Murukomen na Na kilo, na hii na hii kwa kia Urengo Urengo ni basi Tekila sona, na hui ni basi tekila sona Na hui ni basi tekila sona Kwa sa Ya uyu Uyu wa melana Mepanya kasi mtuli sana Kwa hivyo Nakitaka ba kia kumwaji Pati ya kafere Pekini Mungi muku na kasi Kwa sabu Mungi muku na uki Pati sata niye Pati sata niye Kwa hivyo miti sani ni wakuongeza maneno Mungi Kwa kia Kwa kia Mungi kwa kia kwa kia Amalila Kikumu Kade Na ite kakata Nenge tu nye Oko tu chwaduwe mungu boko wake Lakini mboko wake Tafana Nataka ni wafuatayo Waweze kusimamu tu Kwa sababu time is not on our side Family Kavyu kwa ishek Timiro Kwa Elvis Wesley B Philip Kwa hivya hiyo Kama mungu waba na waba tu musimamu Mutapatia tu mtu moja Aweza kusema Kwa niyaba ya Kabi ugo ya zika wa ndugulu Kujui kamo wako kutoka bome Kutoka boito Kutoka Semu zozote zile Pakiti Teki gimu tunei na wako kwa hivu Kwa nyo miyo Yo wakati na wasema asati sana Wati ni mwabe tu kwa na mitei, aweza kufika hapa kwa niyaba ya sanik Kwa na mitei, useme jambo moja lafu itakayo kwata Tutaenda diongo ziwetu Ambao wataweza kusema jambo na pole Alafu tutawapake wageni wetu kutoka Nairobi Ambao watakupua kursa ya kumisindikisha ndugu wetu Asante sana kwa nafasi hii Nataka kushukuru mungu Kwa kutuchunga sisi wote Hapa nimeambiwa Nyonge kwa niyaba ya Thanik So kwa le Thanik Nameni pengine munge ya munga hapo Kufanya tuna mna hii Na mwagi itagaini Pone Se ni Pawagir Mungi ya misi Pone Pawagir ni mingin Pilita Mungi ya Kakas Ya mwa akubwa Pawagir ni mingin Pawagir ni labo Abu kabar baik tuamu, 
เราพวกโครงการด้านตัวมาปุ๋ยพวกมาอุบเมกิชพอกันจะกมวยพวกเราพวกสักันเอ่อปกติพวกยาเจเป็นนัดอาจจะดูเจโซลีจีเอ่อบางมุดเอ่าเกี่ยวกับที่เชื่อกันนั้นวันวันนั้นเกี่ยวกับเมลีกูมาอุ้ยดูมีสิ่งกูยังกันตายยาสูสูริจีบางมุดเอ็ดมาชาวรีเจ้าชาอากอนเอลาบุอาสุโกเกลาบุคนเดียบาบะคนที่การดังกับพวกบาบะนั่นยังแต่กินโกเกลอคุณสู้อบุบุมีเออราดเลตุกุลกาบามงกคุณมุจามีสิกอนเนกอนเนมิงินปอดิสันอักขิจันตุลจาวรุมวยเด็กอาบียังกันเด็กอาบจิมส์ฟังมั้งก็มุ่งจะมีสิ่งก็มุ่งไปอาสนิสานะคุณชุกุลบวานิเตว่าคุณตัวบวานิจักรคราวมาเอ็งยังเด็กว่ามาจีสัยสิกิจมุเตลโลกบวานการันเดนนั่นหมายถึงสิ่งที่สวัสดีคุณมุยะผมมาแล้วมีเพื่อนอยู่นะผมมาแล้วซ้อนๆก็ชวนนั่งซ้อนสัยคิดบุญก็มาสิบบ่อเมย์สิ่งมุ่งเน้นเราพบกันมาวันนี้กี่เทียนอาจจะต้องไปเก็บมาบ่อสิอาสาเนสานะพบโอ้ยจ้ะฟังมิลี่เนี่ยบ่อเอ็มดิสวันนี้เทียนยูฟังมิลี่เชื่อมโนโมอีจ้ะอาสาเนสานะตัวไปเก็บมาบ่อสิฟังมิลี่เนี่ยกี่มุ่งเน้นลาเฟฟิลิปสิ่งที่คำว่าคว้าตาคัตตาดีคำว่ามุกโก Mr. Mohamed, we recognize your presence. Our work of Allah, as an asana to the shukuru, come on one to meet the Allahi Jaleng. What was the city? The city of the most important thing is to be able to do it. Mr. Asante. 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 Wanduku wetu ambao wametoka sehemu mbali uh, Wanduku wetu ambao wamesha atika Kutoka Kutoka Kisumu Endores Nairobi Nataka ni mpake mwakilishi wa umoja Alapu Tia rafta Tuta recognize our local leadership Alapu tutampatia kani Program yetu naisha kwa raka Waibyo Karibuni wa genuetu kutoka Ke Oge mchine ui kwa mpendo Ambao wa mpika kwa wini Kwa jini ya dugu Karibuni sana Karibuni Asante What was the word Kenya Yapo's authority Please surround me here to get the confidence to talk Santeni, mama, kuna jua tu kuna mama apa wawili, kuna mama mzazi na kuna mama mama watoto. Kanisa na watu wote, tunasema poleni sana. Tumekuja hapa kama Kenya Airport Authority kutoka lamu. Malindi, Mombasa, Nairobi 
Eldoret Kisumu mpaka Lokichogio kwa sababu tumepotesa mmoja wetu Atuta nena mengi o, kwa sababu tumetumwa hapa na wakubwa wetu mkurugenzi mkuu wa Airport Authority who was supposed to be here with us unfortunately because of other engagement he could not make it I was with him in Nairobi uh, this morning before we left. But uh, the late is a, a rescue and firefighter. I will tell you what it means. But before I do that, kuna mkuba wake pale Eldoret. Let him just say hi to you. Na unene tukikale kidogo usiseme kisungu. Chairman on Caleb Kositan, Board of Directors, 
management and staff of Kenya Airport Authority, I wish to sincerely express our deepest condolences to the immediate and extended families and friends of our beloved colleague, Eric Kipneno Rotich, who passed away on 5th January 2024 while undergoing treatment at the Luke Hostel in Eldoy. The, uh, the late Eric Kipneno was appointed into the service of Kenya Post Authority on 14th December 1995 as a senior subordinate staff and deployed to the head office, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. On 1st December 1996, Eric was redesignated to the position of fireman and taken through a thorough fireman training program whereby he successfully completed and posted to Eldoret International Airport on 1st April 1997. To equip his skills and enable him to perform well in his career, Eric underwent several training programs. The, next, the training programs he attended include firemanship training, which he did in 1996, fireman grade 2 in 1995, fireman grade 1 in the year 2000, workroom procedures in 2003, junior fire officer course 2008, ISO 9001-2000 awareness 2008. Then, transform transformational leadership in 2014. On 16th November, November 2016, he was transferred to Lokichogyo Airport in the same capacity, where he also worked as a fire and rescue supervisor on relieving duties. Late on 5th August 2020, he was transferred and released back to Eldoret in the National Airport, the station he worked and daily demise. Eric served the authority for a period of 28 years for a period of 28 years words cannot express how devastated we are at Kenya Post Authority by the loss of Eric we are paid to have lost him when his services were still being required but we are comforted when we remember him as one who always brought to brought so much light into the lives of those around him. The late Eric was a competent, hardworking, humble, and jovial employee who portrayed high commitment to his work. He will always be remembered and immensely missed by colleagues, relatives, and friends. He has fraternity shared the loss of Eric Kipneno Roti, and he will be greatly missed by K.A. family. To the family, we pray that you may find the courage and strength to overcome the loss and to move forward in peace and confidence knowing that Eric's life is a life well lived. May the Almighty God rest his soul in eternal peace. Henry Ogoe, the Acting Managing Director. That is the condolence message from the Managing Director, Kenya Airport Authority. Sasa ni kiongesa, mimi di mkubo wake, huko Eldoret, majina na iso Walter Agong. Eric was a special man. And Eric, the way he was seeing things and doing things, is beyond reproach. I remember, just last year, Eric took me as his boss, something that I never knew why he was doing that. When I heard people talking here, I was now reflecting. We came personally. We, we came with Eric. I can let him back and you buy me up. Up. I can eat India. Mama, I can eat India. But Eric did something which I've seen people talking about here. Eric took me and I the measure for his number. So I think this size. Naswali moja nili mulisa. Na we, kama ukunashamba uko, uko ilu ili tumenda kupanya nini. 
akaniambia mimi agom we kama mkuu wangu nimekuleta hapa kwa sababu mimi mwishoe nitarudi hapa that is what Eric told me i've never told anybody it pains me but that is life this man was a great man and in Eldoret people move from just a mere fireman all this there's something there's a profession in fire services where we call the pump operator in Eldoret he was the best that is why i could take him sneak him na twende na ye when he was on duty we were even worried but this man was so strong even when he was sick i could tell him Oh, Banaroti, we kumsika nyumbani. He would sneak from home. I don't know whether madam knew. He would sneak in the evening come to my office, then tells me, unajua mkubwa mimi nilikuwa nimesoa hii kazi ngumu ngumu hii, nikikaa huko nyumbani ninakaa huko, hawa ni wanaangalia huko, so it's better I come and relax hapa kwa kwa kazi. Na nina namwangalia na mwambia Eric, please go back and rest. Na kwa nataka that was Eric we are burying today and kwa wale wajui hii si kazi ya kusima moto tu it starts with rescue saving life this man was mended to save life and actually he could do it and he knew how to do it so as we bury maskenia for authority we've lost a hero a hero this number can tell you why everybody is moving from each and every airport just to come to Eric who started the mosque ali sar ali hata kama sabuni ni staff wale wanajua sabuni ni rafu ni nini that is the humble man he was and one thing Eric loved is education 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 before i was telling him can you go further then he would tell me mkubwa mimi nataka watoto wangu wasome now one thing i will want one of my kids also to be a fire and rescue person i do not know who will take that mantle yukumu ni yenu watoto mama you are part and parcel of the family let's bury eric but i can assure you and this be assured any time any minute you are part and parcel of ke family kama uko eldoret feel free to come to our offices anytime that is the way we carry ourselves we cannot say so much here but the rest because we are a family tunajua kwako tutakuja mimi nimekuja sio mara moja sio mara ngapi tutabadu tutakuja tu and you will also feel free together with the children kwa hayo mengi tafadhali Let's bury our hero with dignity. Rest in peace, ndugu yangu Eric Protege. Asante ni na Mungu awabariki. Asanteni sana. Asanteni sana. Tuwapigie magofi ndugu yetu wote kutoka ke. Kwa sasa hivi ili kabla ya kuwapatia kanisa kuchukua sehemu ambayo inafuata nataka tuwapatie viongozi wetu wachache. Kwa niaba ya marafiki sijui kama marafiki wetu ndugu wetu Kirui kama yuko karibu aweze kusema tu jambo moja na bwana Kirui pia kutoka KRA Uh, Bwana Kiruya yule. Ah uh, pengine 
Ya, karibu tusema tu jambo moja na bwana Kirui kutoka Tare Tare. Asante. Am jambo. Mimi naitwa Kirui, mmoja wa marafiki wa Rodi na kwa niaba ya marafiki ya Rodi wote kutoka Eldoret na sehemu yoyote nasema kuone kwa familia mama Leila Clara mama yetu watoto na pia pole hatutakusema mingi ndugu yetu waje apumzike na alisema kwa telefoni asante Ketu kutoka kia RSG kama yuko karibu Wati niya ya asante Tunataa tumpatia mwakilishu moja amba wamefanya kazi pamoja na mama Leila Kutoka amba kama yuko karibu mwakilishu moja Marapiki wanaofanya kazi pamoja na yea tafadhali kama mmoja wako karibu aweze kufika hapo alafu tutawakilisha hapa tutamba viongozi wetu kutoka sehemu hii pia mmoja ataongea alafu tutawapatia karibu karibu Among them are our heads, but I've just spoken because we work directly with Musa. And as I came here, though, I came with my family. I'd like for him to just stand and wave to you all. Thank you, that's your sister boy, that's my husband. Thank you so much, and for the Thank you so much, Tuna Shukuru. Uh, 
watoto wetu, majirani wetu, marafiki wetu ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali. Kuna majirani wetu, marafiki wetu wa familia hii ambao wametoka Nairobi na waomba tafadhali msimame. Najua wengine wanatoka kee lakini kama wewe unajua ni marafiki wetu kutoka sehemu hii ni teach tafadhali simama kuna dada wetu pale ya yes, simama tafadhali unge vitini huyu picha wano asante sana mimi tumchoze kwa kimite komosi kutoka kisumu tumpigie mapofi mimi tumchoze kwa kimeuri ni nje kuno Nairobi tafadhali msimame tumchoze kwa majirani wa hapa kutoka Nairobi tafadhali nyosha mkono kama uko pale tuwapigie mapofi kutoka sehemu za Nakuru mliopo hapa tafadhali mnyoshe mkono rage tu tuzike wa Turunuki wa Kibulu na Nakuru asante sana tuwapigie mapofi kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya majirani wote nataka tumpatie ndugu wetu daktari Kedune aweze kutoa mwana zake kwa niaba ya majirani alafu tutampatia fursa aweze kupokea viongozi wetu wakiongozwa na madam wetu MC karibuni sana. Ndio. Naomba ni wote kwa jina la Yesu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Asante Bwana MC kunipa nafasi kwa niaba ya majirani kuleta neno la pole pole kabisa kwa mama Clara na familia Rafle. Asante the, the widow with it na watoto wako kwa niaba ya wa kijiji chetu cha Burge tuna simama pamoja nani kuambia pole kwa nyakati kama hii it's never need the time uh, tunasoma mengi katika neno la Mungu kuna marafiki wa mtu anaitwa Job walikuja wakamtembelea siku moja wakati Job alikuwa mgonjwa na neno la Mungu nasema walikuja na wakakaa hapo na wakanyamaza for seven days maamwagi unfortunately walipofungua mdomo wakaanza kumgonga Job ya ile buti leo usije uju buti si ginge gumi hatuwezi kujua mengi na tutataka hata kusema and uh, there is no right time to die hata kwa yule mtoto mdogo watu wengine wanasema alikuwa mdogo hata hajajua kitu ataende ama amekuwa mzee sana recently my wife lost her mother who was 96 years old unasikia kumwambia you are even among the youngest we are almost 60 and you are among the youngest ana ile mawaja wa ndugu mmoja sana there is no right time for somebody to die so tumekuja tu kukwambia with na familia we stand with you in this moment of sorrow na tunakuambia jipe moyo Mungu atakusaidia. Kuna mtu alifanya ombi moja which I will encourage you to pray. Somebody prayed and he said God grant me the grace to accept the things I cannot change and to give me the courage to change the things I can change and give me the wisdom to understand the difference. One of the things we cannot change is death. When it comes it is so final the sisi to give the moyo na tujue kwamba yamefanyika we accept and we move on may god give you grace we pray for you na kama kijiji tunakwambia pole nimepewa pia nafasi ya kupokea wageni wetu viongozi wetu ambao wako pamoja nasi tumemwona mheshimiwa MCA um with you have given me the honor to invite mheshimiwa it's a big honor madam mheshimiwa MCA niko na fursa eh, ingekuwa mkutano wa kawaida ningesema tupige makofi lakini kwa sababu umekuja kusema pole madam MC thank you for coming karibu sana pole okay ah uh, asante sana dr Kelule kwa hiyo nafasi kabla sijaongea uh, ningependa kutambua uwepo wa chief wetu na uh, aweze tu kusimama Hiyo anaitwa Madam Emmy. Ah, uh, chief uh, kutoka kule Bolicho. 
Pakistan Muka Pia ingependa Pakistan na Pati Isi si wetu Aweza kutama machache Ala kutendelea kutoka hapo Ajua mkapa muda ni mkupi Tatumia Dalika kidogo Ili tuweza kutia kanisa na Pati Isi si Wachungaji and all protocols observed. I'm Jamboni. One is a few. A good yellow, young one is a pole, pole for Jami, pole for Wilta, Mutia missing Mama Magalara, the brothers and the sisters, Watoto Eric, 
it is well it is well ndio acha tu andiko ambayo iko kaburi uh, 147 verse 3 ambayo inasema god is close to the broken hearted and he binds their wounds wacha mungu wa mbinguni aweze kupande your wounds i know you are a strong woman willita just continue be strong so when you get over wrong and all is going to provide for you people atawatawalia wale wasabere is going to provide for you going to fight for you watoto watamaliza shule atawalisha na atawabalisha about the report for more the beginning the fruits of the holy spirit can be galatians 5:26 so give me some data about the Eric was such a guy so loving Eric was a person even if you don't like it he was a person of few words what a big impact on your mind and by Eric Alicia to never go back to see it you don't get there again you know I may have got on it so I will only what legacy are we going to leave behind me I'm a woman of faith as we were I was praying actually I never knew it will reach this end Oge taka kwa temene na ndaki ni ile kitu yale chuoa kona ngi mate asoka bidamu ta sa kwa this family go tare ta chuo ba kabisa mama ba kwati so gina mama ba na ba mwisho go you family unite where there is unity god will command his blessings you shall overcome he still remains to be god is god when we are top the mountain i go chuo ba when we are down the valley so it is well Bwana asifiwe naitwa Alfred Drama mwandishi wa mbonge wa Rangai ale na mutya weta agla u shikilia wato ale jamu mutya karable kwa jumla ale mwisho mwa mutya kabisa awali mabude zoi ami president ami president kudeso so kawai ude tete katagimi sikuru so mutya mwatinya ngadja changi ale jam mutya abwati ala bai te uni ne kimi fa moja ko ngale ga bi cha ba burgi ko bi e di pa o le nane ko ko pasuru ki da u yi ni ole aba e bi ngale ga ba sadi ngale ga ba sadi ko tarigi 17 kila mutu a kujana from ya ke moye u si tu mane lu di yo te Tare sanenti saine tuko lengene tonanda lengene moricho uko yote watazungu kasikio so mwaka jana ndio changa ale jamu mchakai erego wote wana nyonga kwa sababu ni tu ya nore kuchita mmo yani iko kuchitu so ale jamu mchakai mama ni mchakamsa ndio nage kuku kuku mjumu amu lengene atere kuku ibase tuko lengene oi pata tamu ti oke pake ana muti lengene sekondari ale peana jana bas ko ngadio nage ne gama cha amwa ko gama cha amwa mamba ya sima itaendele hi karbuni onge na lubi ya tuyo bi ko burena ko gaje se tume na ni nyo ni sima oke amu ti agite ko ngi mjumu amu ti o ngi bua ti ngadi ya ta sima So I am with them. As I'm telling you, that we go about it. Okay. As I'm telling Alfred, you are my man. And I will always get that thing. Family, ya garable kwa jumla, kiongozi wa mama Clara, mama Chebe, kanisa kwa jumla, na wamuleta juwote ni kipeka kwa salimu katika jina la Yesu mjamu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ah uh, ya kwanza nataka nichukue nafasi hii niseme pole. Pole mama Chebe. Nafasi yako wako kwa jumla. Najua kwamba Mungu atawasaidia. Hao watoto watamaliza shule. Na tutakuja ku celebrate ah uh, ushindi wao ambao Mungu amewatendea. So nataka niseme pole ujipatie moyo. Najua kwamba wewe ni mama shujaa. Wakati tulipokuja ndio kuangalia Eric niliona vile unakaa nikajua kwamba you are a courageous woman najua kwamba utalinda familia yako kwa njia nzuri na najua kwamba Mungu atakusaidia ah uh, nataka niseme poleni Mungu 
na neema ya Mungu iwatoshe. Sasa tupongea maneno mengi kwa sababu uh, ya masaa kwa majina yangu naitwa Helen Semtai Nege. Mimi ni MCA wa hapa Mitoi. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishia kwamba kila kitu iko sawa. Tunashirikiana na kufanya kazi pamoja. Na kwa kweli mambo ya maji kule tu ya bei. Tumepatiwa na mheshimiwa governor milioni moja ili kuweka borehole kule chini tu ya bei na hiyo kazi itaweza kufanyika. On Tuesday tutakuwa tuna launch battery kule na kuru ili tukaweza kufanya distribution iende katika mashule zetu watoto wetu waweze kusoma. Number three, ni mambo ya Boito. Boito governor amepatia pesa milioni moja. Tunataka kutengeneza service line kutoka kule Jakaranda Tumaini mpaka Kayole ili watu wa Boito pia waweze kupata nafasi ya kupata maji kwa sababu tunajua kwamba maji ni shida katika area hii. Kwa hivyo nataka niwafikishia kwamba tutakuwa na mkutano hivi karibuni ya kuweza kuhakikisha kwamba hiyo maji itapita hapo na watu wa Boita wataweza kupata maji. Tumeona kwamba mvua inaenda imerudi kunyesha lakini hata hivyo tulikuwa tumepanga mambo ya barabara. Mambo ya barabara tumaweka pesa 1.5 million kutoka kwa DC mpaka kule kwa Sabulgo kuweza kutengeneza hiyo barabara. So nataka niwahakikishie kwamba kila kitu iko sawa na tutafanya kazi pamoja tutashirikiana. So mimi sina maneno mengi nataka niwashukuru na kusema asanteni Mungu awabariki sana. Asante. Asante sana kwa viongozi wetu kutoa pesa na Venza pole kwa familia. Nataka tuimbe wimbo nambari 15 ambayo tuko nayo kwa Himbus kanisa inapojitayarisha kufika hapa mbele na kabla ya kanisa tu nitaomba rafiki mmoja wa Neida aweze kufika hapa ikimaliza kuimba hii wimbo na uh, rafiki yao watoto waweze kutoa pole za alafu kita wa, kitaomba kanisa pia waweze kushika usuka kwa hivyo tutaimba wimbo nambari 15 kwa nyimbo zetu za tenzi za roho ambayo nasema cha kutumaini sina ila damu yake bwana tusimame kidogo tujinyoshe ili tuimbe hiyo wimbo na nitamwomba rafiki wa Leila aweze kufika hapa mbele kutoa pole zake na kutumaini sina ila damu yake bwana na wema ya kutosha dhambi zangu kuziosha kwa ke Yesu na simama ndio mambani salama ndiye mambani salama Ya yangu wendefu ye ye uni pa wokovu windi ya kini piga nguvu zake ndio nanga kwa ke Yesu na simama ndiye mwamba Salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ta muyake na sadaka na tegeme ya daima yote chini ya kisha mokozi ya kwa ke Yesu na simama ndiye mwamba ni salama ndiye mwamba ni salama ni 
Vaya paisa. Tú van a ayudar. Van a leer un negativo, van a hacer un moto. Hasta un moto fue el no fue Van a matar. Vine más allá, pues fue. Un de más hombre, ni quince a mano. Un de más allá, pues fue hasta que la quita. Moto. Moto es lo que me hace así, que ha matado y no me pide a la oficina. Olin sana, olin sana, watu ya, teke ya, watu ya ya poli, olin sana. Kwa kondoke wa pao. Moja wili. Majapu. So, tunasema poli sana, tuna maneno hii. Tunasema poli, tiyo poli inawatoshi. Mkitaka kujua kweli, alikuwa kishiriki kanisa letu, Kuna ishara. Kuna ishara itatoka na mtajua. Kwa hivyo sena mingi na sema poleni sana, mungu wa walinde na watunze. Kisi atuna mambo mingi, kasande sana. Ok, nataki, nataka ni wasalamu nyote katika kita la yesu. Amitambo. Poleni sana, nasimama hapa kama rafiki, kama chilani, kama kanisa, kila chitu. Nataka niambie mama, mama lihi, mama lihila, lagoga akabu rutiki, chetukcha zele rutiki, Kami dengan nebo matlamor sel grup dengan nebo Jerusalem terlalu nebo curu naga mama Lila pole sana nanti kami mampir pole sana airport kongoi kongoi kata muka bawa airport alit kubadia tu mungil luga itu. Lagi bulan ni, orang yang masih wajah bicu gule. Lagi bulan gable, sebiker mampul. Orang yang sih, boleh kuca. Bukan cuma mana, pergi ke mana? Mama Lila ni mama wangu. She's a friend of mine. Tuli toka na embali. Aku ibu ayat Papa Lila, ak my husband. Tolong Mr. Giri. That is my husband. Kichoro noga papa lila. Mbaka sisi wenyewe. Watoto. Tukapua moja. Ndama ite maratomo gimi. Elewu wako ingwene. Walisi mama pa moja. Watoto wa walisoma pa moja. Sisi nae. Tukati mama mna mama lila. Alitunga watoto wangu. Ikiwa sa kiricho. Na shukuru wewe mama lila. Kiko tono ni mama lila enganisa. Kutono ni tolo shio ni bote ibioso. Aka ni hizi enyo ni boma swambole. Ati ilusa le. Mama lila alifanya kazi mingi. Aka saidia wadudu wake na mume wake. Kina hospitali. Aka wakile papa lila. Kina wade two days, three days kune mama lila kwa wano wotepe. Kiaiwe chacha papa lila kufami ni minyon inga afiri. Kipono na yete, kito rete, kiaiwe tuku chacha. Senda wotoko kubwa chiche huwa kini cheke cha angu tebe. Kubwa chandu kiaiwe chacha. Lakini kwa kigiri mbe tutabrain. Ea po akuro no tuwe. Oya chini lako ka kabro tichi. Chini na imu uchi. Kia na yele kugimi kama family Kubi tuko chemite nini lio Okuchi ngoo kila za haka brutichi Onge na li mwuche ga amenwa She is very She is a tough lady Wilta kuchitane kimi na nyika Lakini onge tarete saa ye kukiga nisosye
familia ya roti mfanya kizi kuona kwamba mnaishi maisha ambayo Yesu Kristo atakapokuja tutaungana na umati huu ambao watakuwa wamefungoja Yesu Kristo tutaungana pamoja na wao tuweza tukashirikiane na kukutana na profit na timu yote wale watu ambao wametangulia kama wale ulikayane ni unao kugeri kutini sabo Kuri kapesa awo kiri kia loti masye Kuri kia la loti Entoe Ketunika weke so kusto Maruma tunge kia kia lo Tumba tunge kia Akura kia seti tukule Nema kia so si kuya mwa Kia tukule mami kaya kia 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 Kaya kia 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 ujumpe Nina tema kwa niyaba Kia matehebu zote Ambao Ambao kanya kwa mwa kia nazi Na Nataka kuomba Uh, makanisa mapendepo haya zote ambao wameakilishwa hapa naomba watungaji na viongozi wa makanisa watungaji wasimame mahali wako kuwatambue wafadhili watungaji sababu ya wakati na waomba kuna watungaji pale ukifika kuna wengine hapa kuna wengine hapa eh hey, ipo pande hiyo vile Tumeomba tatafali isi kwa jambo lingine ni kwa sababu ya muda na sababu ya wageni Bilo mnasikia wanatoka na mapata, malizi na kule kuingine Tunataka kwa omba tu sababu hini ni wenye iti Mkubali musimame hivyo na tuseme pole Asante Asante ni mungu wa pape kwa bariki Kwa hivyo Nataka tuangalia huo wimbo ambaye nilakaribisha muhubiri Tumishu wa mungu ambaye mekua mjungaji wa familia hiyo Hako pamoja nazi Na mefuja na team Kutoka kanisa la moso mboro Nataka kuomba kanisa la moso mboro sasa nani Wale walikuwa kaptere kwa tumula Nataka kuomba kanisa lile ambalo mtumishu wa mungu huyu ana hudumu wa simame kanisa la AIC Mosombo wale wamekuja asandeni sana wameka akamba ni mchungaji jana asandeni muketi jana walikuwa huko wengi na niliambia ya komba walikuwa wengi kuliko sisi nikaambia sisi leo hapa tutakuwa wengi sijio liko kweli nilisema hivyo sijio kwa hivyo Musiyame ni wachache hapa, walikuwa wengi Na hawa watu wa airport Na watu wa Kuna kipundi ambayo yonekana ni wachache Wale wa MTR Na Amba Walikuwa wengi pia Wana asisiwe Kwa hivyo mchiyame wa mchiyame wa jache kwa hivyo na hivyo kiyokozi yao Walikuwa wengi sana So, asanteni na watu wengine na marafiki Kwa hivyo nataka tuweza kusimama Tuhimbe wimbo nambari miambili, isiri na pili Wimbo huwa mbao hita hapo lupa kutangu vienu Ni akale nje Tutahimba ni ibonisi kwa sababu ni familia Waliona ya kwamba katika chere Tote wano, tuku yao, baba yao, kwe yao Tuwete kuhimba huo wimbo Iko katika kutangu vienu na paisiri na mbile Miambili kini na mbili Ambaye nasema kwa mba Kuna rafiki Ambaye na nipenda kapito Nataka kuzima Tunaweza kuwa na Sauti Au kini mbali Lakini wote kuhipa toko mbano Ati nyesho uwe Ati nyesho uwe Nato Nato Aya, two and two, three, six. Two times, number one, number number four, number two. Aya, two and two, number one, number one, two, three. Ati ne chowe ne chamaso ne chamaeni ma. 
Rosias nilikuwa treasurer wa region a uh, treasurer wa CCC au CCC a nilikuwa AIC Rosas nilikuwa branch ya AIC Kapset na nilikuwa Rondai CCC a uh, miaka hiyo zilizopita na basi nafikiri wakati ambapo nilipofika uh, kuna mmoja alikuwa ameambia umefikaje hapa hata unakaa ujui na unakaa unajua siku potea <laughs> sababu huku ni sehemu ya nyumbani. Basi mchana uh, wa leo ningesema pole sana ninasema pole kwa uh, sababu ya uzito wa mambo haya ambayo yamefanyika. Nasema kweli wakati ambapo uh, condolences zilikuwa zikisomwa na familia na hawa watoto pamoja na watu mwenda zake na wakati ambapo ndugu yao mkubwa alikuwa akiongea nyoyo za watu ziliweza ku kukua na uzuni mwingi. Na nikawa nimeketi hapo nikijiuliza kuhusu maisha na maisha haya ambayo tunayoishi. Na ikanikumbusha kuhusu uh, mambo mawili, jambo la kwanza ikanikumbusha kuhusu hadithi moja ambayo nilisikia kuhusu kifo. Sio jambo ambalo ni nzuri lakini tunajiuliza kwamba hii kifo ni nini? Hii kifo ni Na ikasemekana kwamba zamani sana kifo alifumwa kuja kuwa wanadamu. Wakati ambapo kifo kifo alipotumwa kuwa wanadamu akaja akiwa na macho, alikuwa na masikio, alikuwa na hisia, angeweza kunena. Ikakuwa kwamba alipokuja kabla hajaua watu wanadamu wakaanza kumuongelea wengine wanasema mimi nimejenga nyumba sijeishi tuni wacha ni hizi kwanza kwa nyumba. Wengine wanasema nilioa jana tafadhali waachana na mimi nifurahie familia yangu mpaka nione passport kwanza. Mwingine akasema mimi niko na big dream katika maisha haya. So ilipofika hapo kifo hakukuwa na namna akarudi hapo akakamplishimisha Alipofika pale ambapo alipokuwa ametumwa akaenda akasimulia vile wanadamu walikuwa na hoja nyingi sana wakiomba wapatiwe muda. So wale walimtumwa akasema so kumbe wewe unaenda tunakutuma unaenda kufanya negotiation. Wakafanya yeye akue mute. Angeweza kuongea tena. Atarudi. Rudi kukuja kutaka kuua watu akaona watu vile wanaoa au ile lakini akitaka kuua anaona vile watu wana wanasononeka so katika hiyo hali ya kuona akarudi hapo accomplish mission yake wakafika huko wakasema hii match ndio inakufanya the skill skill tunataka wakafanya skill power kwa kifo akarudi tena kwa mission yake lakini alikuwa anasikia akitaka akiua wala ameua anasikia watu wanalia baada ya kusikia watu wanalia akawatana hakuweza kuwaua akarudi aliporudi aka akawa kwamba sasa alikuwa anasikia kilio cha watu akafanywa kuwa akakuwa kizimu so aliporudi mara ya mwisho kifo haoni kifo haongei na kifo asikii ndipo akaanza akaua kila mtu pasipo na huruma na mwimbaji mmoja ambaye anaitwa Baraka Mwishie hiyo is a secular song kuna wimbo ambao aliimba na ukisikia wimbo huo anaimba akiwa na uzuni nyingi kifo akina nini akina huruma hana huruma kwa sababu aziki haoni aongei Baraka Mwishie akaimba mpaka akasema kifo huko wapi tukutane kama ungekuwa unapokea bribe ungekuwa the richest in the whole world kwa sababu ungekupatia pesa alafu ufanye nini ufuatilie kush unaposoma hizo lyrics anasema mbona unatusumbua na wakati ambapo tumekaa hapa sisi sote tuko na nyoyo ambazo inzito kabisa kwa sababu ya ndugu yetu ambaye amelala amechukuliwa na kifo kifo kimemuua alikuwa na dreams 
kubwa kuhusu watoto wake, kuhusu familia yake, kuhusu wazazi wake, kuhusu marafiki zake na kuhusu watu ambao aliitaraki pamoja nao. Lakini kipo kweli hakina uhuru. Na maneno haya kila ambacho tunajiuliza ni kwamba sasa kama kipo hana huruma tunashikana kuishi namna gani? How are we supposed to live knowing that we are living here on earth with a very cruel uh, uh, existence of death that is so cruel that we cannot be able to listen, we can't see, we cannot hear, we can't feel, it is so good. Na maneno katika kitabu cha Zaburi tisini mstari wa pili uh, tisini mpaka kuanzia mstari wa tatu na kuendelea inatuongelesha kuhusu kile ambacho tunachostahili kufanya in face of death Nobody can ever be prepared for this thing and no one can ever learn to live with it lakini Biblia inatukumbusha vizuri kwamba katika Zaburi tisini kwamba maisha yetu ni mafupi maisha haya yamejawa na matatizo na ni wito kuweza kuyakumbatia maarifa katika safari yetu kupi hapa duniani na watu wote huko Psalm 90 kama kitabu cha Zaburi tisini then from there we are going to get some few reflections kuhusu vile tunavyotakikana kuishi hasa wakati ambapo tunapoishi huko duniani katika kitabu cha Zaburi tisini kitabu ambacho kiliandikwa na Musa um, uh, iliandikwa na that psalm the specific psalm was written actually by Moses not David Zaburi tisini mstari wa tatu na kuendelea na baada ya hiyo tutaweza kufanya tu uh, some few reflections on Psalm 90 verse 3 following it says Okay let me begin from verse 1 it says Lord you have been our dwelling place throughout all generations Before the mountains were born or you brought forth the earth and the world from everlasting to everlasting You are God. You turn men back to dust saying, Return to dust, O sons of men. For a thousand years in your sight are like a day that has just gone by. Or like a watch in the night. You sweep men away in the sleep of death. They are like the new grass of the morning. Though in the morning it springs up new, by evening it is dry and withered. We are consumed by your anger and terrified by your indignation. You have set our iniquities before you, our sacred sins in the light of your presence. All our days pass away under the wrath. We finish our years with a moan. The length of our days is 70 years or 80 if we have the strength yet their span is but a common sorrow for they quickly pass and we fly away who knows the power of your anger for your wrath is as great as the fear that is due to you teach us to number our days aright that we may gain a heart of wisdom and may the Lord bless his word. Katika maandiko haya ambayo nimeweza kuyasoma, mwandishi wa Zaburi hii anatukumbusha mambo fulani ya muhimu ambayo inatupasa sisi tukiwa wanadamu kuweza kuweza kuyatambua. Jambo la kwanza ambalo tunapatikana kuweza kutambua ni asili yetu. Where did we come from? Where is our origin? Chanzo chetu ni nini? And where are we going to? Because kama hatujui chanzo chetu, kama hatujui mwanzo wetu, na hatujui pale ambapo tunapoelekea, 
basi maisha yetu hapa duniani yatakuwa ni maisha ambayo ni magumu mno so the most important thing for us to understand is to understand our origin katika zaburi 90 mlango wa tatu mlango wa ishari wa 3 na 6 tunaambiwa kwamba Mungu ndiye aliyetuumba inasema watu unawageuza kuwa magumbi ukisema rubini magumbini enyi wanadamu lakini unawakokota una watu wasome katika usingizi wa kifo wao ni kama nyasi mpya ya asubuhi asubuhi inapochanua ni mpya lakini kufika jioni inakauka uh, kuwa ka Mshairi anaelezea mfano wa uh, wa kiashiria hali ya kuhama ya maisha ya mwanadamu anafananisha na nyasi mpya inayokauka jioni lakini swali ni kwamba where did it come from we were created by god tumeumbwa na Mwenyezi Mungu na kwa sababu Mungu ametuumba inafika wakati ambapo maisha yetu pia yanadaiwa ama maisha yetu yanafika mwisho kuelewa asili yetu inatusaidia kuwa na unyenyekevu understanding our origin pale ambapo tumetoka mwandishi wa kaburi uh, mwandishi wa job chapter 14 verse uh, 1 to 5 inasema kwamba a man born of a woman is of few days kwamba sisi sote tumezaliwa na mwanamke lakini huyu mwanamke ameungwa na Mwenyezi Mungu. So we have been born. Sisi ni wanadamu ambao tumetoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Na hakuna yeyote yule ambaye anaweza kusema kwamba mimi sijetoka kwa Mwenyezi Mungu. Na kwa sababu hiyo we are answerable to God. Kama Mungu amekuumba basi wewe unakuwa answerable to God. We are not a product of evolution that we will get better over time. Tukijaribu kuangalia ulimwengu wale ambao wanaamini kwamba we are a product of evolution something that evolves transforms to become better. Lakini we are not a product of evolution. We are a product that was created by God himself. Bwana Yesu Kristo. Katika miaka ya zilizopita wakati karne ya 18 baada ya Charles Darwin kukuja na theory kwamba sisi tume evolve kutoka small or simple forms of life wanadamu wakaamini kwamba we are growing better we are getting better we are evolving to become better human beings lakini katika vita vya kwanza vya ulimwengu the atrocities and the bad things mambo mabaya ambayo yalifanyika ikaonekana kwamba we are not getting better by ourselves in fact we are getting worse katika karne ya 21 tunaweza kuwa tumeendelea na teknolojia na mambo mengi sana but our morality is not getting any better the way we treat one another or each other is not getting any better so we are not a product of evolution that we are going to evolve naturally to become better human beings yule ambaye anaweza kutubadilisha tuwe watu wa maana na tuwe watu ambao ni better ni Mwenyezi Mungu mwenyewe bwana asifiwe so god has created us tumeumbwa kwa mfano wake Mwenyezi Mungu sisi sote tulio hapa tuko na pumzi yake Mwenyezi Mungu but then the second point is katika maisha haya tunayoishi viguli vya uhai wito wa hekima maisha yetu ni makubwa when you read psalm 90 verse 10 the bible says this inasema kwamba miaka yetu i, iwezekanavyo ni sabini au themanini ikiwa nguvu zetu zitaturuhusu lakini wakati mzuri wao ni shida na uzuni tu kwa maana haraka kupita nasi kuondoka mbali all of us are alive today but there is a stark reality that we will never be alive forever 
That is the stark reality which we have to all accept and agree. Pamba hapa si ukwetu. Sisi tunaishi maisha ambayo ni mafupi. Unapofoma uh, kitabu cha Ayubu inasema kwamba ni kana kwamba laini imechorwa. Actually that is what it uses. It says you draw a line where man cannot pass. Na maisha haya tunayoishi ni mafupi. Lakini ufupi wa maisha hayo hatujui. Ufupi wa maisha hayo hauyajui. Kuna mtoto ambaye anazaliwa siku ya leo na anaaga na inasemekana kwamba maisha hayo ni mafupi. Kuna yule ambaye anaishi miaka kumi, baada hiyo akaaga dunia, maisha hayo ni mafupi ama miaka hiyo ni fupi. Kuna yule ambaye ameishi miaka 40 na anaaga ufupi huo bado unahesabiwa maisha ni mafupi. Kuna yule ambaye ameishi miaka mia moja na maisha hayo pia ya ngazi anaitwa ni maisha mafupi. Kuna yule ambaye aliwahi kuishi maisha mengi ama miaka nyingi kote ulimwenguni ambaye anaitwa Methusela. He lived 969 years. Lakini Biblia bado inasema kini ni mafupi. Maishani ama humu duniani there is nothing that we call a long life. However long you live and stay the Bible still considers it as a short span of life. Maisha haya ni mafupi. Na maisha haya mafupi Biblia inasema kwamba yamejawa na shida na taabu. Like when our brother who was sick he struggled alikuwa na matatizo mengi kwa sababu ya ugonjwa. Na wachana hawa na Philip was uh, one of the doctors alisema katika urology Now you are out of pain. Because they saw how their father struggled in pain uchungu mwingi ambapo ilihitajika awekewe sedatives and morphine I don't know if they used that kutoa uchungu kwa sababu wakati mwingine panadol ya kawaida Ayo ni toa hiyo uchungu. Uchungu ambao walipitia ulikuwa ni uchungu mgumu. Na Biblia inaashiria maneno haya kwamba maisha haya ambayo tunayoishi ni maisha ambayo ni mafupi. Lakini zaidi ya maisha hayo mafupi ni maisha ambayo yamejawa kishi. You can own, you can reflect on your own life when you are growing up. Mwili ni kwamba mzuri. Sasa hivi imefika pale ukikaa chini unashangaa utaamuka na mnaka. Ukiinama unaweza sema au I have to make a calculation namna ya kuamuka. But there is a day you could do all the gymnastics. Sasa hivi wewe mzee jaribu kwenda kufanya ile catwalk ya kufanya hivi na mguu. As time goes by mimi hii inakuwa stiff ukitaleta kidogo unasikia unapata mguu umevunjika lakini zamani ulikuwa unagongwa na ngombe lakini mguu umevunjika maisha haya tunayoishi ni maisha ambayo ni mafupi lakini yamejawa na shida hata tunapoongea sasa kuna mtu ambaye ni mgonjwa tunapoongea sasa kuna mtu ako na dawa kwa mfuko kuna aspirin iko panadol kwa sababu wewe rudi kwa dawa ya presa kwa mfuko ama wewe rudi endelee tukibeba dawa haya yote yanaashiria maisha ya ugumu ambao tulio nao maisha ambayo ni mafupi break your life so short and then full of pain sasa kwa wakati ambapo kifo inatokea The pain that is in us is even so greater than the pain that we sometimes feel when we are sick. Kwa sababu ile hali ya kuachana, mwili kuachana na na, na mwili, damu kuachana na damu. The bonding that we have created and we have made is so strong so that for kacha bapo tunapoachana, you really feel a lot of you feel a lot of emptiness. You feel a lot of void wiki iliyopita tulikuwa tunamzika one of our members kwa kanisa na jana nikapitia kuongea na hao 
And the time will come, uh, my sister Wilika and the children, na hapa mama, kuna that post balance amekuwa kiketi. You will say that unaangalia hayuko. Time will come, children will be celebrated. The lawyer will be the topmost barrister in the country and outside the country. Sayo na jama, that I wish you were poor for one and you were poor for Then the fireman, firefighter, you are the poor man. Sababu, we are doing a job for the KAA Pamba. Baba, alikuwa, amesema Pamba, mtoto mmoja pia, angeza kuwa firefighter. Lakini, mwona tungoja kuwe firefighter, mtuko uyo lawyer, akuwe lawyer wa KAA. I'm not a politician, but I'm going to go on a political black. So my brother and I'm going to buy it. I'm going to go on a point. I'm going to feel it more. I think I'm not doing politics, but say, hey, hey, I'm going to be with us to get our people. And we are one of these children. As we are the Malaysia pupilage, they are self. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, why wait for a firefighter? To call a lawyer when you are a Malaysia law, where they are called lawyer at the airport or go to Jama Kenya Airways. One has to see it. So there is a time when you would want to celebrate Nakusema Kwamba that I wish you were there to see what I have become. And then at that time, may the Lord encourage you when you will be feeling so. One has to see it. So my Shahaya ni Makupi. Na kama maisha haya ni makupi, we need to do the third thing. We need to do the third and the last thing. Tuishi wa kekima. In Psalm 90 verse 12, baada kuongea maneno haya yote, mwandishi wa zaburi, haka make a request to God. And this is the request that he made. He said, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. What does it mean to, to know how to count our days? I don't want to be so direct, but I am forced to say so, but the Bible. Umekuja nini wote, kuomboleza, but this is where you get the start here. Japa ndo tunakumbushana. Tunakumbushana, sisi tuliumbwa na mungu, tunakumbushana, maisha haya ni makupi, na imejawa na shida, na tunakumbushana kujipani. Siyo mimi, hii ni Biblia. I am not now speaking in the Bible. Seven years minus yako uko ngatu uko wapi yako. It's not me, it's the Bible. I'm just reminding ourselves. Biblia inasema kwamba, miaka ambayo tunapatiwa ni miaka sabini. If you are very strong, ni miaka semani. And if you are extremely strong, tutakupatia ufiki wa nkwiti, lakini ikaishi. The Bible says, teach us to number our days. No, when God created the earth, alitaka what we issue forever. Lakini shiki tichita ikatokea. Dada moja ama mamu moja naikuwa is, akadanganywa. Hada akudanganywa, akakuda kuna. Mungu wa katafirika, haka amua full stop, hakuna kuhishi kwa reka. Haka sema, wewe utakuwa na shida, haka judge kila mtu. Everyone was not fair. Hata ground, haka kuwa cut. I am so surprised, nakuru in January kwa nambua. This is so green, mi najua, najua nakuru. Hapa iti amua kukauka, muna toraka watu. Kiu we, munga mi neu. Na kuru hiki amua kukauka, inakauka paka inapasuka. Even the ground was cast. Ardi ikawa imelaniwa. Did you know kwamba long time ago, hata mimea haikuwa na miba? Lakini wakati Adam na awa lipofanya zambi, miba ikatokea, kuchunga mimea, kuchunga matuli. Everything was cast. And the lifespan of man was shortened. Deposa mtu wa nyeishi miaka nyingi sana, akaishi 969 years. That was Methusa. By the time wakati wa Noah, mungu wa mekasirishu hata zaidi. 
amereduce kutoka 900 to 1000 years Umwanadamu akaendelea kufanya mtuko by the time of Moses na ile imeridhishwa from 120 to, to 70 years na tumekuwa wabaya sana lakini sijui amereduce imefika ngapi wewe unaweza kujua sijui utaweza You can see the geometric progression regression coming from 900 to 120 to 70 mpaka pale iko tayari sasa kusema imefika ngapi The thing is tunaomba Mungu akipatie hekima kitabu masiku zetu Kuhesabu inamaanisha nini Nikujua kwamba kuna maisha mengine baada ya hapa Na maisha yale ambayo tunaenda baada ya hapa inategemea vile wewe umeishi na vile wewe uko na uhusiano wako na Mwenyezi Mungu right now as we are alive when the time is here. We want to thank God our brother he made this way to God. Yeye alimkubali Yesu tuko na ushuhuda wake tukiwa kanisa familia wako na ushuhuda and we are very certain. Tunapongea kuhusu mambo ya ukufuo wa pili. We are very certain that he will be among us will be very happy. So Zaburi inatuambia tuwe na hekima. To put our ways, to put our to set our ways right, to to tutengeneze mapito yetu. Because that is let me give you this analogy. Long time ago, wakati we were growing up, tulikuwa tunaenda kwa daktari. Na daktari clinic ilikuwa ni kupanga laini, bench press sasa walikuwa na tena kadi ndogo ndogo walikuwa wanapatiana some some cards wanapeana kadi alafu inakuja inasanywa inapelekwa huko ndani so baada hiyo daktari anaitana haya fulani wa fulani net wakitana net kwa tunaona tu watu wanasonga net net na wewe ukitoa net auke kata kwenda Hata hiyo kitu inafanyika huko mbinguni waita tu next. Kadi iko huko mbinguni inaitwa next. Next, ikifika next, who is next? That is what we are talking about preparing ourselves. Ile wakati wakisema next, hata ukisema ukijaribu kusonga ulitoka nje, baadhi ya kadi inabaki huko. Kesho watakuja kuitana next. So we can't escape But the goodness is beginning to conduce us to learn to number our days we ask God tunamuuliza Mwenyezi Mungu atusaidie kuhesabu masiku zetu kujiuliza ama kuuliza kujihoji uhusiano wako na Mwenyezi Mungu uko namna gani have you mended your ways with God wewe umeweza kutubu dhambi zako kwa sababu tusijidanganye tusije tukajidanganya kwamba we are living here forever we are not we are on transit we are on a journey and when our day end we all stop wala umepitia basi kutoka Nairobi unaenda west unapata watu wanashuka ukifika pale stage yako ya kushuka lazima ushuke na wewe usitoke shuka stage ya mwingine kama ulikuwa unakuja kushuka na kuru wewe ndio kushuka kilicho So sisi tuko kwa pasi nyingine hapo inaelekea huko. Watu wanashuka moja moja. Wanashuka moja moja. Kaa ni kweli inaendelea. Pasi inaendelea. Wakati wa kushuka ikifika awire. So may the Lord help us so much as I finish. Kwa katika sauti za Zaburi sisi tunapata wito wa hekima. Tunavyopitia maisha yetu ambayo ni mafupi yaliyo na matatizo na asili ya maisha yetu na tuombe moyo Mungu atupatie hekima kwa kukubali ukweli wa kuwepo kwetu na tuishi kila siku kwa makusudi na unyenyekevu na kumtegemea Mwenyezi Mungu and to the family we know that our brother has rested your father has rested and we know that God has a good plan kwa nafikiri sana yeye atawashikilia amesema sitawaacha kama mayatima he will be there and also we want to assure you that you are Kanisa will be there any time when you need any help when these children are growing up to your kanisa to pamoja we're going to help you
semo jambo moja alafu ni alike watungaji waja hapa mbele wakuti waombe familia kwa hivyo for the fans Shukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa maombi ambayo tumepata kwa makofi tafadhali Asante sana Namuomba bwana principal Atendes akuja toe shukrani kwa ajili ya kazi yote ambayo tumefanya Ah alafu bwana Wesley D atike pia atenda kitu jambo na shukrani pia alafu tuta ende elekezwa kule kupatia heshima ya mwisho wa ndugu wetu tunaona wa ndugu wetu wako on full gear they are prepared to send off our friends karibu ombe la zaji wote eh kwa niaba ya familia ya ndugu yetu Faith jamii yake kwa jumla kanisa la AIC Burgay na wenyeji wote wa area hii ya Brutei nimesimama kwa niaba yao kutoa shukrani zetu na hata kwanza ningependa kuanza na pale ndugu yetu alikuwa anafanya kazi ningependa kusema asanteni sana kwa yale yote ambayo mnafanya tangu ndugu yetu akiwa mgonjwa mpaka akalazo hospitali na yale kazi yote ambayo mnafanya mpaka mtamsikisha nyumbani Mungu awabariki sana. Na pili ningependa kushukuru jirani zake pale Kapseret. Mnakuwa na jirani wema mesimama na yeye na kwa yale yote ambayo mnamfanyia nasema Mungu awabariki. Ningependa pia kushukuru eh wale ambao walikuwa na shiriki pamoja nao katika kanisa lake pamoja na jamii lake nasema Mungu awabariki eh ya mwisho ningependa kusema asante kwa jamii ya Burgei tumeshirikiana pamoja tangu jambo hili litendeke tumekuwa pamoja la mwisho ni kwa mama Clara eh jamii ya Eric kongosoa na mama ningependa tu kukuelezea kwamba sisi tu majirani tafsiri kwa pamoja tafsiri kwa jirani wema kwa sababu ndugu yetu Eric alitupenda Eric akikanyaga ile hii hata mtoto mdogo atajua kwamba Eric amekuja nyumbani kwa hivyo tafsiri kwa majirani tafsiri kuombeana na tafsiri kusimama pamoja katika neno la Mungu. Kwa hivyo mbarikiwe sana. Mnapo rudi makwenu. Uwe na safari njema. Mungu awabariki. Na wakati mwingine tutakutana tutafidi kumsifu huyu Yesu. Kwa hivyo asanteni sana na Mungu awabariki. Asante. Mimi ndio Westby. Na nimekaa na Eric kwa usandi muda mrefu sana na sema tu kuwe ni shida ali bigana ali ngana na kuliongea na kaniambia uwili mena uli kwa gumu kubali lakini nilifika wakati tu yani nikaona kweli amepitia utungu sana alikuwa anapitia utungu baada ya kulia alikuwa anamsaidia kulia so wakati tu hiyo wakati wa mwisho mstari the night eh? nilitoa mapema ni huwa nilikuwa naenda kulala kwa saa mbili mpaka saa sita rudi so, tu tuye nilipo saa tano nikakuja tukakaa na wao na nilikuwa na nafikia masomo sana so tulikaa na kina mama pamruli sasa na na ya 
دورش بود پر در دفتر از سال سنت سلیان آلی پانگ اول سلا تیپی نمی پانگ اول کون کون
Mwela safari njema mnapo rudi Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuongoza mfika salama na ndugu wetu tunaombea Mwenyezi Mungu awe pamoja nanyi kwa kila jambo. Eh siku ngeni na wangoje tafadhali mfika hapa mbele ili tuweze kuwapatia kanisa sehemu ya kuombea familia. Asante. Asante wili. Asante asante. Tafadhali So wanakoya wanapo watakapo maliza kuimba wimbo wao tutaombea familia na ibada ya kule kaburini tutaongozwa na mchungaji wa hapa nyumbani Reverend Richard Kirui yeye ndiye atakuongoza kwa kazi hiyo ya kule kwenye kaburi kwa hivyo waya watakapomaliza waya amen familia watakuja hapo mbele wanapo watungaji watampea familia kiongozwa na mhubiri wetu ambaye alihudumu siku hii ya leo ambaye ni Reverend Mo karibuni wimbo mmoja tu sababu ya mafaa Tabe hizo sisiwe Asisiwe tena Wakati DJ anatengeneza maneno huko uh, Kwa mnyaba ya hawa wana kwaya Na kakati mtene kwaya uh, Mungu wa kuna nyingi familia Dane, watoto Familia kwa mzima, uh, mzima na hata kanida uh, Ya pili Ukipenda nyimbo zetu siko kwa YouTube Uh, una subscribe to AIC Birthday Choir alafu unapata kitu nyimbo na mpariki tutaomba family au kitu huko mbele mpige kuomba kwanza kwaya wataendelea kuimba tunapoelekea sehemu hii karibuni family karibuni tuweze kusoma family na marafiki tafadhali na pale tukamil from wakati tutafika pale tutakuwa na uongozi hapa yeye wataongoza kumtendikiza ndugu yetu kwa hivyo mkifikia alarm ama pauja ambaye inaweza ikawa na hofu si hofu kwa sababu lazima wapate desturi zao wanapomtendikiza mmoja wao karibu ndugu yangu asante na waomba wachungaji ndani nje tusimame nyuma ya familia ndani ndani ya familia mchana wa leo mbele yako na mbele ya umati huu kwa minajili ya kuweza kuleta familia mikononi mwako baba mwenyezi Mungu najua kifo ambacho kimechukua ndugu yetu Eric na sasa mwenyezi Mungu familia hii inapitia uzuni majonzi au kweke Mwenyezi Mungu umejiitia huyu ndugu wetu Eric baada ya yeye kukamilisha kazi yake ulio mwandalia na baada ya siku zake kumu duniani kuisha na sasa Mwenyezi Mungu sisi tuliobaki tumebaki na jukumu kuweza kufarijiana na hata kuwapatiana matumaini tunapoishi huko duniani tazama Mwenyezi Mungu mbele yangu kuna familia kuna mama wa ndugu wetu ambaye alituacha tunaomba umbariki 
uweza kumkuta machozi akumpatia matumaini. Mwenyezi Mungu tuweze kuyaeleza yote ambayo huyu kijana wake alikuwa anamaanisha kwa Yeye alimaanisha mambo mengi kwa huyu mama. Lakini sasa umemkwa na mama amebaki na mawazo mengi, hapo na machungu, sio machungu kwa ubaya lakini ile hali ya moyo kuisi uchungu kwa sababu ya kijana wake kumwacha. Mungu mshikilie na umsaidie hasa wakati huu. Baba mbinguni pia kuna mke wake ndugu wetu aliyetuacha. Yeye Mungu ameishi na yeye miaka hiyo yote tangu walipoana. Wameweza kufanya maamuzi mengi, umefanya mengi makubwa. Hata umebariki na watoto na Mwenyezi Mungu wataisi ukweke na wataisi ile hali ya kumkosa. Mungu uwafariji, washikilie na uwapatie matumaini. Matumaini yetu ya mwafako Mungu uliyesema hawezi kutuacha kama watoto wajane, amen, watoto mayatima na wewe ni baba wa wajane na baba wewe ni mume wa wajane na baba wa mayatima. Tazama mjane huyu ambaye ameweza kuachwa na hawa watoto ambao wameweza kuachwa bila baba. Mungu uwapatie matumaini inayozidi ukweke, inayozidi uchungu, inayozidi yale yote tunaweza kuyataja uwasaidie wakati ambapo wanakupitia ugumu katika maisha yao wanapofurahia wafurahie wakisherekea na wakutukuze siku zote. Pia Mwenyezi Mungu kuna ndugu na dada ambao uh, mwenda zake pamoja na watu wote wa jamii, marafiki na sisi sote. Mwenyezi Mungu tunawakabidhi kwako kaweze kuwasaidia. Basi Mungu familia hii tunayakabidhi tunaikabidhi kwako ukaweze kuwasaidia wakati ambapo wanapofika wakati wa kufanya maamuzi ambayo ndugu wetu walikuwa wanasaidia kufanya maamuzi hayo utawasaidia wakati wanapohisi ukweke utajaza pengo hilo wakati ambapo wanapohisi kwamba wako peke yao roho wako mtakatifu awatembelee na wafariji na wapatie matumaini basi Mwenyezi Mungu kuanzia sasa mpaka siku ambayo wewe utaweza ku, uh, kutunganisha pamoja na yeye pengine kwa njia ya kuongoja kwa kurudi kwa Yesu Kristo ama katika njia hii ya kuweza kupitia pale ambapo umepitia Mungu kaweza kutukuka katika maisha yetu yote. Basi nakabidhi familia hii pamoja na watu wote wa jamii na sisi sote kwako uweze kutubariki na kusaidia. Katika jina la Mungu Baba, Mungu Mwana, na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Asante sana kwa Okay, hapo tunaenda kuketi chini. Eh, nataka kuomba ombi hili Reverend Dewi hakikuja kwa sababu yeye ndiye kuongoza kutoka hapa. Nataka kutangaza hivi. Tunaenda kufika ni hapa Tema. Na hapo ni kidogo kama hapa. Nataka kuomba hivi sababu nataka sisi wote tufike. Naomba watu wa eh, watu wa ndege eh kwa jumla eh ile kikundi ya airport utoe watu wachache watu wa MTR na hapa watu wachache wale watu wa Kapteret mkuje pia mshike eh wa mshiriki mwenzenu wale watu wa kamama wale familia wa kamama yani wale familia pia watu wote kuwakilishwa na watu wachache wa hapa na sisi wengine tutaambiwa naomba MC tafadhali kwa sababu tutitoka hapo what next so eh utangaze yale ambayo yanaofuata nimeomba kwamba bila kikundi itoe watu wakilishi wawili wawili sababu pale ni sehemu nimesema ni kama hapa tu so wawili wawili kutoka kwa vikundi hivi ambavyo nimetaja hata hapa kunyumbani bungei hata ninyi watu wa jamii twende wale ambao naitwa ni duty ya family ya eh? twende pale alafu uh, pia tuwakilisho na watu wa jaja tuone hiyo tupe
kwa sababu huko ni sehemu kidogo nataka Eric Eric tabadali uko wapi Oi unasema una jeu ni kijana ni tena sana please na gani nimeita yeye tangu tangu kutowacha nimekuwa nikiita yeye tena kuna kuna jambo ambalo tumeharibiwa hapa na haiko kuwa katika utaratibu yetu kuna watu marafiki ambao wametoka mbali na hao kwa pamoja nazi wakati tulikuwa nafanya mambo ya rambe na nini na wameomba nataka kuomba pale kibale hicho wameomba wawekewe kikapo mahali na yule ambaye alikuwa twende la wa kundi ya kamiti ya hapa asimame na hiyo kikapu ili watu ambao hawakuwa na sisi na Beret na hapa na wengine hao kutoma na simu uh, wanaweza uh, kuweka kikapu hile naomba pia ni ipeanwe namba ya yule mtu wa WhatsApp WhatsApp pressure ya WhatsApp nyomo nyomo aita mambo Thank you. 
juegan 